Now, if a book was to be written about the different sectors in Laikipia, health would likely take a huge chunk of the chapters from being thrown right, all, right on the deep end by devolution. At a time, the residents here depended on provincial hospitals in Nakuru to the growth of grassroots dis dispensaries and through a period of an almost complete paralysis due to medic strike and dismissals. Ibrahim Karanja places the matter on the operating table and breaks down the efforts to resuscitate the sector. When the current administration of the county of Laikipia came into office, one of the main and immediate actions Governor Joshua Irongo did was to reinstate doctors and specialists who were fired in 2019, rendering health services hard to access for three years. This set the tone for the plan to resuscitate the ailing health system per the county administration's analysis. We have all the specialist doctors that were sacked earlier on. We have reinstated most of them, more than 30. We have the dental uh, dentists that were able to come back. This is the new renal dialysis unit at the Nyahururu County Referral Hospital in Laikipia County. A five-bed capacity dialysis center that has not only reduced the pains of the sick having to travel far and out of the county for critical medical services, but also benefited more people three months on. We are able to do like 16 patients per week and so far since January 5th up to date we have been able to cover like 250 patients or so, so far. The main health facilities sit in Nanyuki, Nyahururu, Rumuruti and Kimanjo. Enhancing healthcare at the grassroots level remains a key need. We are doing all it takes to have level one uh, service delivery. That is communi at community level. We are uh, uh, upscaling uh, the community health units. We are also uh, making sure that uh, we pay all the areas for the, uh, the st and the stipends uh, for the community health volunteers. In Nanyuki, the county referral hospital's outpatient wing is currently undergoing expansion following an increase in the number of daily walk-ins from what the county says were just a handful of people seeking services owing to the challenges of time. Patients who visit this hospital, uh, the highest recorded number we have had in this quarter is 1,200 and the spaces available for them uh, were not enough. So there is huge demand for services. A radiology building hosting MRI and CT scan facilities as well as three theatres are also in the pipeline under the budget for this financial year. Three distinct theatres, some two of the theatres having two tables each so that we have a total of seven tables in this hospital to accommodate the specialties that have increased in the recent months, starting with the now have an ENT surgeon in the hospital, in addition to two orthopedic surgeons, and uh, now we are going to three general surgeons. Under the same budget, Nyahururu is also set to receive a CT scan as the hospitals in Rumuruti and Kimanjo are angled for radiology units. Perhaps to mirror the changing tides for the health sector in the county is a recent orthopedic medical camp that saw the highest ever numbers recorded. The county leadership says it has set the ball rolling in its plan to fix the health system, with some of these projects being part of a larger plan. We shall encourage our health workers also to go back to school uh, to improve on their, on, their, on their skills so that they can be able to serve in this level five. If the plan by the county government of Laikipia to construct dispensaries in remote villages of Laikipia County works, then it is facilities such as the Nanyuki County Referral Hospital that will get to benefit from such a plan. The reduction of patients here will see an even enhanced service to the people of Laikipia. Ibrahim Karanja, NTV from the Nanyuki County Referral Hospital in Nanyuki Town, Laikipia County. You know